Good morning, everybody. It's quarter past six in the morning, folks. Yes, it is so early, man. We're getting the Tom Tom on the go, and we're off to Penon, the film location of Local Hero. So, here we go. Very early. I'm quite hungry, actually. But here we go. Right, folks, here we are then. I've made it to Pennon. Here it is. Fantastic. It's quarter past seven in the morning. And already I found the phone box. It was a right steep coming down there, man. My God, it's a really steep corkscrew. But here it is. The famous phone box. Here we go, folks. There it is. Look at that. We're here. We've made it. There it is. We're going in. Right, folks, just speaking to a lady there. Mm. She was very happy about me being here. She said, we're fed up with people coming here. So, but similarly, there's a, there's a, a bit of a, a gannet fest going on over way out there in the, in the uh, middle of the sea, which I'm away to go and look at. So I've sat and I've watched the gannets diving over there, folks. An amazing scene. Something you only normally see in a David Attenborough film, and it happens only once a year, similarly, and people take boat trips out to see it, but I've just actually witnessed it. Fantastic. Right, so here it is, Penn. And now the lady did say to me, they're fed up of people coming here and filming, and a lot of people are building walls and gates now and things, which is a shame, obviously, but you know, what can you do? It's not our fault. Anyway, we're here, we're here. Right, bro, a picture of Pebble from Pennon Beach. This will be just for you, mate. There it is. Look at that nice kind of pen in colour, a pen and brown that's called, so that'd be for your collection. Bro, there we go. Way to look at the phone box. There's two people sitting beside it having a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna have to kind of chill out for a bit. Anyway, this is. I forgot my microphone as well, folks. Can you believe it? Here it is. expecting a motorbike to come flying down the road with John Gordon Sinclair on it. If you haven't seen the film, you really should go and watch it, man. You can see clips of it on YouTube. But uh, I'm sure there's a, supposed to be a, a plaque around here somewhere. 
Anyway, we'll just have a, a wander about. Folks, the shore is a, a beautiful place, lovely setting, and I can understand why the residents get upset when people come prying around and nosing in the windows and things, but as I said, it's, it's a shame, I know, but it's a, an undiscovered, undiscovered gem, this place, man, it really is, I'm so glad I'm here, I really am. Well, this harbour right here reminds me of the... Now here's a fact for you folks. The phone box they used in the film Local Hero was actually a fake. They made it, painted it and stuck it on the harbour here. Um, so the tourists when they came up here were very disappointed that there was no phone box here. So BT actually installed one. It's just around the corner right here. Right here we are inside the phone box. Now the village, they called it uh, Furnace. That was the name of the village and the, the whole thing was that um, the Happer Oil Institute in Houston was coming across to make a, a refinery and they were going to buy out all the residents here in uh, Furnace and build this refinery. But the guy who came over to do it, or do the deal, kind of fell in love with the locals and the residents. So, And the very last shot of the film is he goes back to his Houston apartment and he feels kind of like, you know, alone and lost. So he phones back here and the last shot is off the phone ringing and it pans away with dire straits in the background. Do, do. So there it is. Yeah, hello bro. Yeah, I'm here in Furness. Yeah, yeah, I've seen Bert Lancaster, yeah. And I've seen uh, McIntyre and the guy who lives on the beach. Yeah, they're all here. It's amazing, bro. Wish you were here, mate. See ya, bye. bye. So folks, here I am at Pennon now after years of planning and wanting to come here. I'm here. I'm eventually here, folks. Because I was at Inch, I thought I'm never going to get as close again, so I may as well take the opportunity. Um, so what do I think? Well, it's just another beautiful little village on the north coast. And I've been to so many wonderful, beautiful places that this is just another one of them. Even if the film wasn't filmed here, I would have still thoroughly enjoyed my stroll around here, folks. A beautiful morning. If it had been raining, then it might have been a different thing all day. I don't know, but the weather is fantastic. I watched the gulls, the gannets, diving into the water, man, which is something you normally only see on a Dave and Attenborough programme, so I was well privileged to see that. And I can definitely understand why the locals don't like folks like us coming down here and nosing about 
Um, but anyway, there we go. So I've, I've eventually made it here to Pennon, folks. The legacy of Pennon is, of course, the local hero film. Nobody would probably come here if it wasn't for that. They wouldn't even be interested. So I do understand why the residents can be a bit, you know, miffed. But anyway, there we go. So what about a score on a spezometer? Well, it'd be so, so easy and nice to give it a 10 out of 10, folks. You know that. I really would like to. But being, being brutally honest, as I said, it's just another, another village and another place that I've been to. And this was going to get an 8 out of 10. Thank you very much.